Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a skincare review and this is the Nivea Q10 Plus Replenishing Pearls Serum. Um, I believe this is available in Australia right now and um, Latin America. I don't know if it's available in the in Europe. Um, so anyway, let me give you some info on what it does. So supposedly it says, with this pioneering technology, our new Q10 Plus anti-wrinkle replenishing pearls will pamper your skin with ready to burst a Q10 pearls. Our formula effectively reduces the appearance of wrinkles, smooths and softens your skin's surface. Our form formula works to give you a refined and younger looking complexion. Um, it says here how it works. Nivea Q10 Plus anti-wrinkle contains the skin's own uh, coenzyme Q10 and creatine and works effectively against wrinkles in harmony with your skin. Our unique replenishing pearls deliver the highest dosage of a skin's own uh, coenzyme Q10 in a silky smooth gel. It's highly powerful formula enriched with high hyaluronic acid proves its pure anti-wrinkle power by not only helping to visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles but also helping the, to prevent the formulation of new ones. Um, skin compat compatibility is dermatology 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 Jiggly approved. Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway. Alright, so I used up the whole bottle and let me see if I can squeeze a little bit here so I can show you guys what it looks like. Oh, there's a little bit. Okay, so if I don't know. Okay, so there's a little bit of, you can't see it because of the glare. Um, so the pearls are yellow and I don't really, it's, it doesn't have the tackiness of a gel. So, um, even though they think the consistency is gel-like, I don't really see it. I feel like this is a very, the consistency is a very beautiful serum-like consistency. It is not too heavy, of course, because it's a serum, but it's not watery like a lot of serums are. And also, it's not greasy at all. Um... And because you put a moisturizer on top of this, I never really um, felt the tackiness, but there is a little bit of tackiness, so I guess that's where the gel light comes from. So, <sighs> I used the entire bottle, and that's why I can give you a full review. So, first off, I don't like the smell. It has this kind of like old lady-ish, kind of smell like a grandmotherly kind of smell which I don't really like I think because it's a kind of a powdery smell I always kind of associate with that so it has kind of like old ladyish kind of smell which I don't like at all however it does dissipate um, especially since this is a serum and I do put a moisturizer on top of it so the moisturizer, whatever that I use, usually kind of takes over that fragrance, which is great. If you are going to just use this one, though, <laughs> um, you're going to have like that old lady-ish smell. Um, did I see any difference in regards to my, my wrinkle on my forehead? No. Did I see any difference in regards to my crow's feet here? No. Um, I didn't really see any kind of... Um, any kind of um, difference in regards to the lines that I was, excuse me, trying to get out, you know? I don't have very textured skin, so, or uneven in the texture of my skin, so I don't really kind of know about that. Plus, I also use other skincare products. Um, my, I always do that every day. So my skin has always been um, smooth. My problem is, is it's right now it's normal to dry and kind of really dry. It's sensitive. Um, I have redness on my cheeks. I have unevenness here because of a staph infection. I have this giant, gigant, like ginormous wrinkle up here in my forehead. I think it's two now. Be ever since I gave birth to my baby, I've been having like I feel like I I like. I feel like um, my skin aged like 
10 to 20 to more years than that like I started to get all these wrinkles and crow's feet and like you know crazy I don't think this really benefited me at all I didn't see a big difference in what um, my skin was like before I tried this and the reason that I tried this is because of it says it has um, coenzyme Q10 and creatine because of those two ingredients this really made me purchase it it's just unfortunate that it really didn't give me the boost and the effect that I needed and wanted. So I'm not repurchasing this at all. The good part about this is I never had any kind of breakout. I never had any um, inflammation. I've never had dermatitis. I never had a rash. I never had um, like uh, just bumps that aren't even pimples, um, itchiness, burning. I never had any of that, which is good. Huh. So if you are just wanting a serum that is just a serum that doesn't really make anything worse and not make anything better, um, just a little bit of boost in hydration, I would think, just a teeny tiny bit, not a lot, you can you can definitely use this one. Um, if you are using some, if you actually want something that it claims reduces the appearance of wrinkles, I don't really, I don't think this is gonna work for you. It didn't really work for me. So I don't really see this working for working for that purpose at all. Too bad though, because I mean, aside from the smell, the consistency for me wasn't really that bad. I didn't really um, mind anything else aside from the fragrance, which didn't really last very long. Um, so I kind of really did hope that this was going to be like a hope or a miracle in a in a bottle you know but it just didn't work out so that's too bad um if you want to try it out you're not gonna have any kind of bad issues with the skin however it's just not going to help with any wrinkles or anything that anti-aging in a sense however just so you know this didn't really make the lines worse so it didn't make it significantly better and i have been using this because a serum bottle which is usually this is a, I would say one fluid ounce. That's usually normal. This is 40 ml. Um, usually that will last you like a few months. Yeah, that would last you a few months. And I use that every day, twice a day. And from what I've noticed is, I just, there's nothing, you know? I mean, I've used it for more than 30 days and there's just nothing, no improvement, no nothing, so. I'm just going to keep on hunting for a serum that would benefit my current skin and the problems of my skin right now. Um, if you guys have any suggestions in regards to skincare, and I am I am more focused right now in drugstore skincare. There are so many beautiful luxury skincare right now that I, I'm really tempted to try, but I would rather focus on the drugstore right now just because it's I feel like I'm doing a drugstore makeup challenge. I kind of want to match it with the skincare. So if you guys have any suggestions, um, comments, questions, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Again, I have normal to dry skin and sometimes it can be very dry. Um, also sensitive skin. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.